It's a tragedy that brings into sharp focus a horrendous reality, the reality of an inhuman practice called manual scavenging in 21st century India. On Saturday, four people died in a manhole in Hyderabad. Three of them were cleaning the manhole without any protective gear. The fourth man who lost his life was a cab driver who had jumped into the manhole to help these labourers. He leaves behind two young children. <laughs> Lakshmi is proud that her husband tried to save others, but says he has left her and her two children, Pramila and Rakesh, orphaned, helpless and hopeless. <laughs> a car driver, Gangadhar, had jumped into this manhole on Saturday evening after three laborers who went in one after the other did not come out. None of them was wearing protective safety gear and all became unconscious after inhaling poisonous gas emitted inside. They are going to book a case for negligence against the contractor who made these uh, workers go down without taking proper precautions. A 2013 law prohibits employment as manual scavengers for cleaning a sewer's septic tanks. And yet, the inhuman practice continues across the country. There is also an ambulance uh, 108 uh, person employee, Chandu, who also went in, in fact, his rope broke and he also fell in unconscious and then he was fortunately saved and shifted to a hospital. But certainly the fact that there are so many manholes in the city uh, which are being handled manually, which are still being cleaned manually and no protective gear has been given to the workers to work in this particular area. Just in this particular stretch, in June, one man had died, a pedestrian had died in the floodwaters falling inside a manhole. The contractor was blacklisted but a subcontractor continued doing work in this particular area. In Hyderabad with camera person Nagraju, Umasudhir, NDTV.